Hello and welcome to the Tanya from Zion. <clears throat> Zion Tanya, here we go. We're learning the 23rd chapter of the Tanya. In this leap year, it's for the, 9th, the 18th and 19th and 20th of Shvat we're going to do today. Three days in one. So it says in the Zohar, and will be explained fully, that the Holy One, blessed be He, and the Torah are one and the same. And so the explanation is the, the Ramach Piru Pikudin Inun Ramach Evarin the Malka that the 248 positive commandments enumerated in the Torah correspond to the 248 parts of the body that were uh, that, that the sages uh, divided the different parts of the body up into. The sages in anatomy came up with a number 248 based on um, their own research. Uh, it's not, of course, you know, according to modern anatomy, there would be much more, but it's certain we've got to draw the line somewhere. We're talking about a mystical understanding, a spiritual understanding, and not a one to one correspondence with science. Um, So the, the, the point is very clear, that every mitzvah is a part, corresponds to a part of the body, and all the mitzvahs together, they form a spiritual body. That's called the Divine Presence. She mitzvot hen pnimiut ratzon elion vechevzo amiti hamlubash bekol olomot elionim v'tachtonim lahachayotam ki kol chiyotam v'shifam talui b'maseh mitzvot shel atachtonim kanoda that the, the mitzvot, the commandments of the Torah, are the inner, inner will and desire, the inner heavenly desire, the inner heavenly will and desire, the true inner heavenly will and desire, which is dressed in all of the worlds, the upper worlds and the lower worlds, in order to give them life, for all of their life and all of their influence depends on the practical performance of the commandments of the those who live in the lower world, meaning mankind. Nimsa shemase mitzvot vekiuman ulevusha pnimi lepnimiut ratzona elion. So we find that follows that the uh, the, pra the act of doing mitzvot, the practical performance of the mitzvot, and uh, and their existence is it's an inner garment the mitzvah is so to speak clothing for the inside of God's will of God's heavenly will so God's heavenly will is within every mitzvah shema seze nimshach shemimaseze nimshach or vechiut ratzon elion hitlabesh polomot that from this action, we've, it's drawn from this act, draw, drawing out from this action is light and the life force of God's will, God's heavenly will, to dress in the worlds. Lachen nikra evere de malka, derech mashal. Therefore, it's, it's called the limbs of the king, so to speak. The limbs of the king in a... In a kind of a, in a, as an allegory, in an allegorical sense. Now the allegory is interesting. When he says Derech Mashal, when the Tanya, Balatanya says Derech Mashal, he's referring to the allegory of the physical world. So normally we think of it the opposite. We think that this is the real world, and the Kabbalah and the Hasidus and the, up the ten spheres and the four worlds and the, this, the concatenation from the from the infinite and the parts of fame and the divine personae and all of the, the whole geshevt, that that's all, that's the allegory. But this is the real world. Um, according to our, our masters from, and, and our, our great teachers of the past and our great, great spiritual masters of the past, 
it's the opposite that the real world is the spirit world. The world of the inside is the real world. There's the inside and the outside. What we see here, the world we live and operate in ostensibly is the outside. The inside is the soul, the neshama, the world, the four worlds, the higher worlds, the, te, the spirots, the, the, the light of the infinite, filling all the worlds, surrounding all of the worlds. That's the truth. That's the real deal. And then its, out, it's external manifestation is me sitting in the chair, these books, learning the Tanya printed on paper and so forth. That's an external manifestation. So the garment is the external. Garments are on the outside. They're covering the, on the outside. So the mitzvah also is, is a garment, but it's a garment for the innermost heavenly, innermost heavenly will and desire. So the same way and so, so the mashal in Hebrew, mashal is allegory. Is a mashal, is uh, is that the parts of the body are a garment for the person's soul. The body is the temple of the soul, the garment of the soul. That's an allegory, and the real deal is what's going on in heaven, what's going on in the world of the, the what we call the concatenation, the hishtal shalut from from the infinite down to the finite world. That's the that's reality, and its external manifestations and allegory is is us. We're the allegory. So the body is a is a garment for the soul. Uvatelim the gamrielea, and the body is nullified before the soul, completely nullified. In the, the, the proof is that immediately when I want to raise my hand, I do it when I when I I want. Did you ever say want? When my when my will in the inside wants to do something, I do it. When I want to eat, I eat as long as I have food. If, if I don't, I have to find out how my will finds a way to get food. And then, so, so in me, and there's no separation between wanting and doing. I want to pick up this bottle. I pick up the bottle, and there's no lag time as long as there's no physical disability. And I don't, I don't have to say hand voice. I'm not on voice command. Hand, pick up the bottle. No, I can pick up the bottle without saying anything, without speaking. I just want to, and I do. Lishum shihia klal with no. Uh, no lag time, no uh, no waiting. Ela berega mamish kishela birtsono, but immediately when a person wants to do, he does. Kach derech mashal hechiut shel mase mitzvot vekiyumanu batel legamre legaber ratzon ilyan. In the same way, in an allegorical sense, the life force of the practical application of the mitzvah, the doing the mit, the life force within doing the mitzvah. And its endurance is nullified completely before the heavenly will of God, which is dressed in the mitzvah. And the nase lo mamash keguf the neshama, and the heavenly will that is dressed inside the mitzvah makes the mitzvah like a body, and the heavenly will is like the neshama, the soul, the highest, Jew, the Jewish soul. Bekein levu shechitzon shel nefesh elokit. And similarly, the external garment of the the godly soul, Sheba Adam, the, the external garment of the godly soul in a man, Hamakayem v'osei mitzvah shehu koach, shehu koach, that 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 gives endurance and, and and allows a person to do a mitzvah, which is his power, Bechinat Masay, which is the power and the aspect of its 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 uh, its ability to do. Who mit labesh bechiut shel masay mitzvot? That power dresses in the action of the mitzvah. The nasa gam ken keguf the neshama the ratzon elyon. It also becomes like a body for the the neshama of the the heavenly will. Ubatel alav the gamri, and it's also completely nullified before it. The alkein gam evrei gufa adam hamakaimim a mitzvah shekoach ubechinat. Mulubash Behem Bishat Maase Bikyum Hamitzvah. 
So, so too, the, the, the limbs of a man's body who are doing the mitzvahs, where the, the power and the aspect of doing, uh, of, of, of act, the power and the aspect of the, the actions of the nefesh, of the godly soul, the manifestations of act, in action of the godly soul. The godly soul is within and is inspiring and, and creating actions by, through its will. It's, it's dressed in them at the time of the performance of the mitzvah. So at that moment when we do a mitzvah, the mitzvah becomes a chariot, a, a veritable chariot, a true chariot for the heavenly will. Kagon, Hayad Tzedakah So he gives an example. The hand that's giving charity to the poor. Or the hand that's shaking the lulav, or the hands that's saying, raising the cup to say Kiddush, or the hand that's putting on the tefillin, or the hand that's helping the little old lady cross the street, or the hand that's doing chesed to help out a friend, or the hand that's 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 shaking the hand of a of a of a, of a person to make them to make them feel good to give another person a good feeling. So these these are all these are all garments for the godly soul. The godly soul is the force behind it. The will, the heavenly will, and the godly soul are the force behind the physical action of the mitzvah. The raglayim amalchot ledevar mitzvah and the feet that are that get up in the morning to go to the minyan to go to shul. And the feet that get up to go to work, which is also a mitzvah. And the Barambam actually instituted a blessing for Masya Matan, business. Doing business, he actually had a Baruch Atah Shevilokena Melchalam, blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, before doing business. So so that it, it fell upon the wayside throughout the ages, but in the the Rambam actually instituted such a bracha. So in other words, the every every mitzvah that our legs have to do to go somewhere to do the mitzvah. And the mouth and the tongue that are saying words of Torah, that are saying the Tanya out loud and sharing it with friends, and getting to the inside of the inside, revealing the depths of the Torah in speech and learning. And the brain which is contemplating the words of Torah, because you don't have to speak, you don't have to always speak the words of Torah, you can just sit and silently contemplate the greatness of God and the meaning of the Torah. And think the mind contemplates the words of Torah and the greatness of God. So, that's what our sages meant when they said that the patriarchs they themselves are Ezekiel's chariots. Who's riding in the chariot? God. God is riding in the chariot. So meaning the patriarchs did everything, the will of God, and the patriarchs were nullified before the will of God. So they were becoming, so to speak, the chariot of Ezekiel, because they were the chariot for godliness, by, by nullifying themselves before the commandments and doing them with the full heart, with fear and with love. That's what that's why the patient patriots at every second of their lives they were just nullifying themselves before God to do his mitzvot with fear and with love. That made them into a chariot. Shekol Ephraim Kulamayu Kadoshim Mumdalim in Yunilamaze that all of the parts of their body were separate from the from things of this world. They only wanted to do the will of heaven, the will of God in heaven. And anything in this world was like a peel of garlic before them. And they were only, the, they made themselves a chariot for nothing other than God's heavenly will. And nothing else. And that's what they did all of their days. That's why we say that the patriots, they themselves are the chariots. Baruch Tiyah.